uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching, but Netflix now is like huge. They're gonna go uh, worldwide and some shit like that. So this streaming thing is big and we're sponsored by Ustream. So, you know, we have 50,000 live viewers, which is amazing for the internet because if you think of it, traditionally the internet has been something for convenience. You go on there when you want to go on there. You don't go and have to tune in because even for TV, people have TiVo now. They don't want to tune in at that time. They want to tune in whenever they want to tune in. So for us to be able to get garner 50,000 live viewers, you know, and it's growing every week, um, is huge. So that show came. I have a I have a great great team. Nelson, who, uh, who's actually one of the big executives, he runs the radio promo. He's the programming director. He and I really, this is like our baby. We work really hard and then the whole team that I have, I have the best guys in the world. I have to give them a quick shout out because Heineken, you know, I have a co-host, Heineken. They're from True Stories Radio. Basically what I did, did and I always do is I get a group of people that are really hard working together, people to cover the cameras, people to, you know, whatever I need to cover, the, uh, you know, operations side of it or whatever, because I'm like a one-woman army and I book everybody, I write the clocks, I produce everything to make sure that it's, you know, super dope and official. And, you know, but at, at the same time, you can't do everything on your own, which I realize. So I have True Stories Radio, they do all the post-editing stuff, um, and then I have my hip-hop life, which they do a lot of the photography and the live stuff. Um, DJ Big Jeff, my DJ, like everyone is just, it's so important to have a great team that believes in the movement. So that's just a city radio. Branding is so important because that's like the name tag that you put on your product. So like when you, uh, when you want your product which could be anything, could be your music, even you as a person, you as yourself, you have to brand, even if you're behind the scenes or whatever, you have to build the relationship, the reputation that what you're doing is has value. Um, and it's so important for an artist to have branding because that's the way, you know, you get your name out there, like all these little bees and crayons and stuff. Unfortunately, you know, the internet is a beast and anyone can be a star and with the right branding you know you can be so these kids are starting to realize that at a younger age now so definitely everybody from any aspect of the industry is really important to brand your name oh my god so that's my major turn on because i have a i have a uh, background in search engine optimization so I know how to manipulate and uh, get my viewership up and what I did was I relied on other sites to post my stuff so I um, before I started my radio shows I did a lot of um, and I still do uh, promo for like Freeway and EPMD and Uncle Marta who's here and Mayno and whatever, Def Jam records that couldn't clear samples, I was, um, you know, always asked to send those out. I'm AKA Digital Debbie, that's what I'm known as in the industry because I've been doing this for years. Like I know uh, how to get your music out there, get content out there, get whatever it is out into cyberspace where it's picked up by the search engine so that you do show up in Google results. Like I've made it possible for myself over all these years. I'm in like the first 10 pages. When you Google Maya B, I am like all in there. It's important to, to, to have those search results. Um, so like tagging all your stuff, keywords are really important. Um, but yeah, marketing is, you, anyone can learn it. And any, I think everyone these days, you subliminally have marketing embedded in your head just from buying cereal at the store. You kind of see what things stand out to you more and the same thing applies again in any any line of work any position you really need to make yourself stand out from the crowd and that's what marketing enables you to do this is so cheesy and gay but I'm gonna have to say 50 like you have no idea that 
50 has been somebody like, I say Jay gave me my 90s swag, but 50 gave me my 2000 swag. Like, he doesn't even know it, but, and I never have told him that because I'm not like a cornball, like, celebrity freak or whatever, but he's just somebody that I respect because he doesn't give a shit at all, and he does not click up with people, which I really like because this this industry in particular is so based on relationships and who you know, not particularly the quality or the level of work that you do. It's it's really who you know. If you're someone's cousin and you don't know anything about the music industry, you could be an A&R. They could just throw you into an A&R position. You know, you're not qualified for it, but since your cousin is, you know, the head A&R or whatever, you get the job. So, um, definitely... Uh, it's it's a tough industry in that sense. Well, um, I guess I can officially announce it with you guys. Um, I'm bringing This Is 50 Radio to SOBs. And if you're familiar with SOBs, it's the longest standing nightclub in New York. Um, and it's notorious for being legendary in the hip hop community. And I thought, um, I actually started another show before this called The Roundtable Show. Lenny S from Def Jam and um, that show was a huge success and what how we ran that show was like I really wanted to be like a late night hip hop show like Jay Leno style we had an audience it was so awesome so I'm gonna try and uh, do that same thing over but in a bigger capacity so you know we're gonna have that stage it's gonna be set up in a set have people in there at tables they get to see this entertainment live celebrity guests um, and then we're gonna have performances. It's just gonna be basically like a hip hop, you know, like any of the late night shows that you see. It's gonna be Jimmy, what's that guy's name? Jimmy, uh, Fallon. yeah, it's, he has a show, right? Yeah. What's the one when he, who has the roots on their show? Jimmy Fallon. It's Jimmy Fallon, right? Like, shit like that is dope to me. So, and the feeling of the crowd, the interaction is so much different than just being behind a computer screen and you're like, some little punk ass kids on the computer just hey take your top off or some stupid shit like that you can actually see these people and they're reacting to you and it's just really cool um and i'm so excited because i know that it's gonna be a staple in new york city for you know late night entertainment so that's next That's the biggest thing I can tell you is don't ever think you are a big shot, that you are some star. Even when you achieve that success that would equate to stardom, keep that humble attitude because you'll always just win in life. People want to be around you. I've seen so many people just change and then drop on their asses and then look for everybody. Oh, why aren't you here anymore? Oh, because... You know, you shitted on me when you got your little five seconds. And in this industry, it could be one minute that you have a fan. So you really have to, you know, keep a level head at all times because the hip hop and music is the industry where people gas each other up. You know, everyone's dick riding everybody else. And, oh, he has this car. I got to get this car. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just complete bullshit industry. So you just got to keep your head straight. That's my, that's my advice. Alright, what's up? It's your girl Maya, the B from This Is 50 Radio, and I'm here with KJ and Twin, MajorStage.com. Check it out.